Welcome my friends, my name is Irvin, also known as Coolman, and in today's video we are talking about software or application will not install. This idea for the video came from my article that is called Top 10 Desktop PC Issues and Problems with Solutions. I will post a link to this at the end of the video so you guys can check it out. So let's talk about this. Software application will not install. This is one of the most common things that you may have uh, in, that you may have encountered using your computer, where you simply try to install a program and it just refuses to do it. So let's have a look at some of the things that could be causing this. First, not enough drive space. So of course, if you go to your computer and you know you go to your file explorer and you go to the C, you know, it may say that you are running out of space, in which case chances are that local disk C will be in red. And then you could tell that there is not enough space. Second thing is newer version is already installed. So sometimes people overlook this, uh, believe it or not, but they may get an error that sem simply says, you already have a newer version, therefore I'm not going to install this. So you proceed to install it, then it would just pop up and say, you already have a newer version. So for example, if I go to add remove program and have a look, for example, I don't know, let's just pick a random thing. This is AMD Catalyst Control Center for video card, uh, for the video card driver. So let's say you have an AMD video card and you try to install an older version it will say, well, you already have this version, which is newer version, and then you can't install over it because it's an older version. Sometimes people overlook that and they just think that, you know, something else is wrong. So that covers that. The other thing that could happen is you didn't install prerequisite software. For example, uh, VC uh, Red Ist X64. I, I'm not sure how to even pronounce that, one, but that's what it's called. Or, or Microsoft.net any of those versions or DirectX. DirectX a lot of times is related to, you know, video games. Uh, video games will come with package of this one, VC Red, Red Disk X64, also 32-bit version, and uh, its own version of DirectX that was used during the, uh, I guess, the build of that software. So you, of course, need that. Same thing goes for Microsoft.net. So let me show you what I mean. I'm glad that I kind of left it at this window here because you can find this type of stuff in here as well. So let's go ahead and just type in Microsoft and see what kind of things we see under that name. These are all just basic things that come with the Microsoft. But if you scroll down, you can see that there are Microsoft Visual C++ redistributables. Redistributables. Sorry, I, I try to say that as best as I can. English is my second language, so uh, forgive me on that. But you can see there are different versions of that. So let's say you install software and it's not running. Let's just say it's not running for some reason. There may not be any error or anything like that. Well, chances are that you didn't install either any of these versions that your computer may need. And the reason for that is whenever that program is, was built, it had this Visual C++ redistributable there to begin with. So it was based off of that. I hope you, I don't want to make it too techy sounding or too nerdy sounding, but basically that's what it is. So you're going to need the same version. It's, it's like trying to do something on a different type of, uh, um, I want to say, uh, let's say you're trying to play uh, soccer on a baseball stadium. It's kind of like that. <laughs> okay, so the same thing goes for the Microsoft.net. Uh, this computer doesn't have it here, but it would basically show up the same way. It would say Microsoft.net version 1.0, 1.5, or you know 2.0, whatever it is that the current version is. So it would be the same thing. You may sh you may need that as well, but that one is not as often installed as is Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable. Redistributable. Uh, anyways, uh, and the same thing when it comes to DirectX. DirectX, uh, let me see here. I forget whether it actually shows up here. It doesn't, 
but we can certainly search for it. So if you type in dx diag, it will find it and will run the command. And it just says, you know, or you know, it just wants. It's asking you whether you want to check whether, whether the drivers are digitally si signed. And here it is. This is the direct X. Um, same kind of type of deal. It's just that it may not show up in the add remove that I showed you earlier, but it will be kind of same thing as Microsoft uh, C++ thing that we looked at earlier. Um, however, it will just kind of update this version of DirectX. This just told this just tells you what the version is installed already. Uh, this is not the actual DirectX program. This is just a diagnostic tool that tells you which version you have. So you can kind of look at it and you know figure out whether you need to update it. You know what I mean? Uh, but usually it, you would get this with a package and this is just a good way to kind of look up to see what you have in your system. So the next thing is basically not compatible with the operating system. So a lot of times older programs will not function on the newer operating system. So for example, you have a Windows XP program that you want to run on Windows 10, but it doesn't work because it's just simply not compatible. Or of course, if you're trying to install something that's like Linux based and you're trying to install it on Windows, of course, it's not gonna work. So here are some of the solutions. Um, for the first one is free up space on hard drive. That's self-explanatory. If you don't have enough drive space, you simply free up space. Simple as that, or choose a different, you know, installation media, whether you have a second hard drive or what have you. Uh, the other thing is look for previous installations of newer software and install or prerequisites. So if you already have a newer version installed, of course you would just look for that and um, install all the prerequisites. This is kind of uh, talking about the part where I mentioned you didn't install prerequisite software as stated previously. So you would just make sure you install those. You can also install them by, possibly install them by reinstalling the program itself, or you can acquire compatible operating system, which is related to the last cause for this. You know, I realized that there are you know, quite a few other issues um, that could, that you could come across when it comes to errors, uh, you know, this and that, uh, when you use your computer, these are just some of the most common ones that you would encounter. And um, if you have any ideas or other causes or other issues that could be related to not able to install software or application, you know, feel free to let me know in the comments below. I would uh, gladly I would, I would be glad to hear from you and uh, possibly answer those for you. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you want to check out my gear, my setup, there is a link in the description box below as well. I will be making more of these videos, so be sure to subscribe and share with your buddies. I'd appreciate a like too. Thanks. <laughs> All right. Bye-bye.